Good day, South Africa. Now, I don't know how to intro this next jet. You know, I, I don't know how to go about preparing you. And the best intro I can give you is, his name is Ja Reed. But most of you may know him as the real Magic Mike. <laughs> What's up, bro? I'm all good, my brother. How are you? Uh, I can't complain. <laughs> you know, life is good. Life is good. Life is good. It is indeed. Let's jump into it. Okay. So you get the call. You're going to be on Big Brother. Mm. You prep. Mm. They put you away. Mm. You finally step into the house. Yeah. Right? What's the first initial thought that you have? Um, at first, like, you, you think you have a strategy. You okay. think you have, like, a whole game plan. You think you have all figured out. You know exactly what you're going to do. But... Mm -hmm. That all deteriorates throughout the stay in the house. Yeah. It doesn't even take a day for you to lose sight of what you came there for. You can only bet on yourself. It happens that quick. That quick. Okay, so now the yeah. housemates come in. Now mm. you see everybody. Mm. It's the first night, mm. you know? The dollies are there, the chants yeah. are there, you know? Yeah. Had you had people picked out already on the first, like first week, first yeah. night that, mm, yeah, I'm gonna be all over yeah. that. Had you had people picked out? Had you had like situationships planned out? I already had like yeah, one person picked out and then through time, I think like as one person, at first like first night I slept on Bumi's bed. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So like I already had that connection with her. Okay. But I just, second day I ventured out and went to Lee. So what happened? What, what about yeah. Bumi made you go, yeah, yeah, definitely. Now she's, she's realness and she's, she's turned. She's just like me, she's wild. Yeah. So that's like, she just mirrors. Okay. Like, you know who I am. But Lee has the same thing. She just like kept it subtle. Mm. It took her time to pop out for me to see that side. Uh. Or it took you making her pop out. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> okay, so um, you you mingle. You like you said, you you hook up with. Well, mm. you share a bed with Mbumi on the yeah. first night. Then Liema comes along. On the second you know, night. Yeah. On the second night. Yeah. That's night two. Yeah. Like, it just began. Yeah, when the yeah. first night here, second night there. Because yeah, I didn't have a bed. Like, there were 22 beds and 23 of us. Yeah. So I was just that gent that didn't have a bed, fortunately. And out of everybody you could have shared with, you... I went to Bums and then I begged Lee for the second night. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then what happened the third night? Third night, that's where we, like, I actually diverted my focus to, to Liam. Yeah. And simply because, like, we just connected more. And it was like, there's more conversation had there. What about Liama like drew you to her? Like what about Liama makes you, you know, constantly want to be around her all the time? She is she she's warmth, you know, and inside she's like subtle, she's mm. calm, she's like the parts of my the kind of parts of myself that I don't like to express entirely, because okay. people already know you as a wild chant, but she puts you on a level where you get to think about stuff. Oh, okay. She dissects you entirely. Mm. 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 So when you have a woman like that, yeah. right? the natural assumption would be that's the kind of woman you want to spend all of your time with and be yeah. with constantly, yeah. you know? Um, when does the, the, the game play of it come into place? Because now you're in a relationship, essentially. Yeah. yeah. When, whenever did you start thinking about the game? To be quite honest, a lot of people, like, I've, I've been expressing, like, to me, it's never been a game. When feelings were involved, like, that's mm -hmm. where that's why things turned out the way they did okay. in, the, in the wild sense because had I known or had a game plan about it I would have put in time or thought into what I was doing but I really didn't I was just going with like however I felt was right at the time and so you enter into this relationship with Liama yeah then Mbume comes along she does and did you at any point think to yourself Ish, but this is wrong let me tell you like each and every single moment of it. I did think it was wrong, but that's why when you get into a house, I express this entirely. You are different from who you are in the outside world. I've never done this kind of thing in the, like, in the outside world, but when I got into the house, somehow. But hold up, hold up, <laughs> hold up, hold up. <laughs> what do you mean? Show your role, come on. So you telling me yeah. that you've never been with multiple women outside the house? Not at the same time. Maybe if I'm, if I'm like, um, um, I'm, I'm going like I'm running game okay. or single, but when I'm single yeah. or just going out with women, that's okay. how it happens. But not at the same time like that. 
I'm in love with these two chicks and I don't want to <laughs> let none of them go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, yeah. I just want to find what, where you were in this thing and if there was a balancing beam and, and what your true intentions were. Mm. So my true intentions, um, because simply expressed, I've, I always like knew that like with me and Bumi, something would like maybe transpire inside the household and maybe end there because of how she stresses the importance of a relationship outside. Okay. But she's willing to do whatever inside. Yeah. With Liama, her situation was kind of different because she had felt like, you know, whatever she had outside wasn't important enough than what she was working towards. And what we had inside the house, we was an idea of like something that we pursue outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Regrets. I, I live by a mantra, my brother. I, no regrets. No regrets. No regrets. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Not a single one. None, none that I could think in of. In everything that you did. <laughs> in everything that I did. Not a single regret. <laughs> Jarid. <laughs> What's up, my brother? Jarid, when I don't have regret, you would see. I'm going to buy my car. They fought, yeah. risked being in the game. Mm. No regrets, man. No regrets. Because at the same time, it's like me being out there, like out here right now, mm -hmm. and speaking on this, just shows that, like, however they handled their situation, made mm -hmm. them stronger or be a better player than I ever was. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, they know now more than anything, they got it more than I did. So no regrets because they're holding it down as much as they can. And yeah, it's all love. So it's all love. <laughs> a standard in song, <laughs> loosely translated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, you're out the house, mm. you know, and what does the future look like for you? To be quite honest, um, this is the first time I really feel afraid for my life. So afraid for your yeah. life? Why is that? Because um, I moved from being like an academic space, mm -hmm. you know, being in an office, like structural engineering designer, yeah. and now I want to venture out to create. So mm -hmm. I don't know what it looks like or what kind of opportunity comes forth. Mm -hmm. So I know. I gotta take to the likings of like not taking the first opportunity yeah. when it comes because I, of desperation, whatever case may be, but like think on it, okay. breathe on it. And you know, everything designed for me, mm. like putting on clothes and like, you know, that's like blood sport for me. Okay. You know, um, I'll take likings, design for me is everything and anything simply because like, I can't coexist in that space. And mm. funny enough, that was my favorite task when we had to put together stuff, stitch up, you know, anything, yeah. fabrics or paint or like, I don't know, like anything is a form of design. Like your job right now is a form of design. You oh. bring out words oh, okay. in a certain way. <laughs> it's, it's design. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is what they say about a villain. <clears throat> the hero yeah. will sacrifice one for the greater good. Mm. But a villain mm. will burn the world down if it ever messed with the one they care about. Ooh. Ooh. South Ooh. Africa, and that's how we do it right here <laughs> on Big Brother Zanti. Thank you to Ja Reed <laughs> for being you. himself, and thank, thank you, you thank to you, you guys for constantly tuning in. For me, Lawrence, thank you. till the next time, till the next one, only three more weeks to go until the grand finale. Who will take it? Will he have a multi millionaire girlfriend? <laughs> Stay tuned for scenes for my next episode. Also, remember, the views expressed by Ja Reed do not reflect those of the show. <laughs> Oh. You are some Zanti